We bring in now Democratic Congressman Jared Huffman of California. Congressman, thank you very much for being on the show after what I know was your conference call last night with your caucus, right? Thanks for having me. So are you satisfied with the outcome of that call, that the House Speaker and House leadership has said we will aggressively investigate, but we're not going to commit to impeachment? Look, for now, I think there's broad unity in the Democratic caucus on what the next steps need to be. There may be some different views on what we should call those next steps. I'm very comfortable with calling them uh, part of an impeachment inquiry or an impeachment proceeding. Others feel like it needs to, uh, we need to avoid that term. But we all want to move forward with a full-throated investigation and full accountability. So I, I think that's the important point here. Is it fair then, as I'm, as I'm listening and parsing your answer here, Congressman, you're saying this is really a matter of semantics, that you're all on the same page of what you want to do, just not on what you want to call it? Well, in the short term, uh, perhaps so. Uh, now, most of my colleagues, including Leader Pelosi, have said that that investigation may well lead to impeachment, and they're not taking that off the table. So uh, I think there's even uh, unity in that next step as well. But we certainly have some colleagues that don't even want to contemplate the possibility that we may have to fulfill our constitutional obligation and, and move forward with an impeachment. Uh, I think we likely will have to do that. But functionally, the next steps are the same, regardless of what you call it. Uh, on impeachment, on this topic, you told my colleague Leanne Caldwell that, quote, it's bad for the country if Congress punts. But I want to play for you what Senator Bernie yeah. Sanders, who is, of course, in the upper chamber, had to say about this. Watch. If for the next year, year and a half, all that the Congress is talking about is impeaching Trump and Trump, Trump, Trump and mullah, 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 and we're not talking about health care and all of the issues that concern ordinary Americans, what I worry about is that works to Trump's advantage. Why do you think Senator Sanders is wrong on that, Congressman, if you do? Well, I'm not saying he is wrong. Look, uh, we're not going to talk only about impeachment and Mueller. We are going to talk about health care. We are going to talk about infrastructure and prescription drug costs. Uh, we've got to walk and chew gum. There's no doubt about it, but I think we are up to that task. You don't simply punt your constitutional duty in a historic moment that has landed in your lap, like it or not, uh, because you think the politics are dicey. You've got to do your job. Sometimes that, jo that job requires doing multiple things at the same time. Fair to say, though, that the politics may certainly be dicey on this one, Congressman. And I've talked to folks in and around the White House who actually think impeachment could help the president. So what do you say to the folks who say, listen, impeachment proceedings by this Congress will only strengthen Donald Trump's hand, could end up leading to four more years under this administration? I would say there's no way they can know that. And mm -hmm. frankly, uh, many of them are saying that in a, in a self-serving way. So I, I really think rather than trying to read the, the partisan tea leaves of how this cuts in 2020, we should follow the facts. We should do this full-throated investigation. We should read the Constitution and remember that our founders anticipated a moment like this and they put the constitutional remedy of impeachment uh, in the Congress for a reason. Uh, we can't just punt that. There's a real downside to that. And, and I would say to these folks, um, think about the political risk and the political downside of not doing our job under the Constitution. That could be very dangerous and mm. politically unwise as well. California Congressman Jared Huffman, thank you very much for waking up early for us and coming on. I appreciate it.